Hi, welcome to something totally different that's gonna be on my channel. It's gonna be Nikki Uncut. So what that means is it's just gonna be, I'm gonna do my makeup and there's gonna be no cutting. We're not gonna edit anything out. You're gonna see the entire process as long as it takes. So you're gonna see the brows, you're gonna see the blending of the foundation, you're gonna see all the things that we usually cut out of full length videos on my channel, just due to like timing purposes. It could be, well, it is a really long video if you leave all those things in. But um, anyway, so it's gonna be more casual, basically. All that to say, it's gonna be, think like the, how do I explain it? Think, think of this as like, the low maintenance sister to the videos that you see typically on my channel. Like, so exactly, for example, you're gonna see me like moving in my chair, you're gonna hear the chair squeaking and all those things we typically cut out, they're, they're gonna be in this video. So this is gonna be the low maintenance sister to what you see in my channel typically, which is like more polished, you know, streamlined, edited, all those things. I'm gonna do my eye cream while I'm talking to you guys. And um, yeah, so I guess the reality would be, this would be like, my actual sister, if, if my sister was a video, and then I would be the other version of my videos that you see on my channel. Um, Cause I'm more high maintenance than my sister, like by a hundred percent. Anyway, let's get into it. Cause I actually have, let's see, I have, I have 40 minutes, just about 40 minutes before I have to leave and go to work and, um, and like do someone else's makeup. So I actually have to get this going, but I'm gonna finish my skin prep with the Naturium Vitamin Bright. I actually just posted a video on my Instagram using this eye cream and talking about it. By the time this video comes out and by the time you all are able to see this video, it's gonna be a Tuesday. Today's Friday. Um, so I'll be talking to you guys in the future. <laughs> but um, right now I'm in, I'm in Friday. It's Friday for me. And I just posted a sponsored video with Naturium and I'm really excited about it because I turned down a lot of sponsorships. I'm gonna just be honest with you all. I turned down a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of sponsorships because I don't, A, I don't believe in the product or I typically don't believe in the product that I'm turning down, obviously. And I'll only work with brands that I love and trust and that I know have good products. Like that's just the thing. So I get a lot of offers and um, you know, not to sound like a snob, I'm definitely not a snob. I'm just really, really choosy on who I work with and um, I just don't, I won't take it. I just won't take like a cash grab to take a cash grab. I just won't, I don't, it's not, it's just not my personality. It's not for me. It's not what I want for my channel or for like my social media. But anyway, I took a sponsorship with, with Naturium because I've worked with the brand for at this point years. I'm gonna do my tinted sunscreen from Tower 28 now. I've worked with them for years professionally, like as a makeup artist. And what I've always done for them is 106 from BK Beauty. I've always done their campaigns, which is what I do for a living. You know, in case you're new and you don't know, I'm, I am a professional working makeup artist in the industry. And so I work a lot with brands like beauty brands, skincare brands, hair care brands, a lot of hair care brands actually. And um, so I worked with them for years in that capacity doing their campaigns. And so anytime you see an Aturium ad, it looks like the models don't have makeup on. And granted, they have very minimal makeup on. It's like my no makeup makeup look for skincare campaigns, but I did it basically. So if you ever see their ads online, like on Instagram or on their website, anywhere you see ads for Naturium, nine, nine and a half times out of 10, I've done that no makeup makeup look. So I love, anyway, that to say, I love the brand and I believe in all their products and I use their products both professionally and personally on a daily basis. So when they asked me to do a sponsored video with them, like a sponsorship, especially for this eye cream, and I'll tell you a little bit more about this too as I'm doing my makeup. But when they asked me to do a sponsored video, like to work with them, I was like, I don't even have to think about it. You know, it was like such a no brainer because I also have been trialing this and like trying it out, testing it out. I've had lab samples of the two different shades that they carry. This is the light medium that I put on, but they also have, and I'll just show you because I have an extra one. I have both these in my makeup kit that I use professionally and they're a game changer. This is the uh, medium deep. So it's for deeper skin tones. It's got a little bit more of a peach undertone to it. So it's not gonna cast like a gray, 
you know, look to your under eyes with it being the wrong color. So the fact that they did two colors was just, that's what speaks to me. As a makeup artist, there's nothing more frustrating than not having a variety of products to use for all your skin tone clients. So anyway, all that to say, I got to work with the brand for probably a, just about a year testing out this eye cream before it came out and got to give them my feedback, which was really fun. I love to consult for brands. It's like one of my favorite things to do. I love to give my feedback and um, yeah. So anyway, I got to consult with them. So in the chance to collab and do a sponsorship for this eye cream that I feel very like passionate about came around. I was like, absolutely count me in. So by the way, the shade that I've been using, I switched from PCH in the Tower 20 to Ocean Park. It's actually a better shade for me. The PCH one, which I was, I've been using, I'm almost out of this one. It's just a little too orange. Like, and when I say a little, that's being generous. It's really orange. I'm gonna grab an eye cream. So let's do, not eye cream, a concealer. Can you tell I'm in a hurry because I need to go to work <laughs> and get myself presentable. So for my under eye concealer, I'm gonna do something I really rarely do, but I've been doing this all week since I've been on the go and it's been so easy and it's been really covering up like my dark circles, which you know I have an issue with, and also just really brightening my under eye and concealing it. It's the Clay de Poe Concealer. This is so expensive. It's kind of insane, but it's really nice. And I was so hesitant. Oh, my dog's chewing on something. I just gotta check on this really quick. What are you chewing on there? Oh, okay, he's got a bone. My doggies are down here with me because they follow me everywhere I go. So if you hear him chewing on his bone, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but anyway, this concealer, I, I just kind of w refused to give it a good chance for a long time because of the price tag. The price tag really, it really irked me, to be honest. It really like, it really bothered me how expensive it is. And it still bothers me. Listen, it's still like, incredibly expensive. I think it's like $80 for concealer, but Here's the thing, I, I know a lot of people from the brand now, which I didn't before, and I've had, I've been lucky enough to receive PR from them. So it's given me this chance to like really try the products in a like more unbiased way because I didn't have to pay for them, just to be honest. And um, I gotta say, all my clients that were like for years telling me, I have to get this concealer, I have to try it, it's the best concealer, how could you not have this in your makeup kit? And my rebuttal was always, well, it's too expensive, this is insane. Like I already spent so much money on my professional makeup kit, I can't bear buying a bunch of like $80 con uh, concealers. So the fact that I've come around and I realized that I was wrong and this concealer is actually amazing, I, um, you know, you gotta be able to admit when you're wrong, right? So I totally admit I was wrong and I unfairly judged it and like snickered at it because of the price tag for so long. Cause it's expensive. I have a couple things go, sorry. I, I also flubbed my words. So you're gonna, you're gonna get that throughout this entire video since it's not gonna be edited. What I was gonna say before I tripped on my tongue is I have a couple issues on my chin right now. I have a couple little little itty bitty pimples that came out of nowhere. So we're just gonna conceal it with the clay de Poe. Also, I had to wash my eye makeup off three different times with a cleansing balm because I wore a liquid eyeshadow from Half Magic last night. I went to an event for Half Magic, it was a blast. And um, by the time you're seeing this, it's gonna be off in my stories, but I did post about it in my stories on Friday. I went Thursday night and had a blast, got to meet the creator of the brand, Donnie Davey, who's like such a badass, such a badass. But so I used a half magic liquid shadow. It was like this deep, deep teal, so cool. And, but that stuff would not come off. It was like, it was like paint that dried on my eyes. So I was last night like, scrubbing and scrubbing and trying to get it off. And then my eyes were like starting to get raw from it. But I still, I woke up with like remnants in my lash line. You could probably see 
Anyway, we're gonna move on. This is gonna be a natural makeup look. Honestly, it's gonna be kind of bare bones because I'm just doing this to go to work and I just need to look present presentable. So I'm gonna set my under eyes with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. I've reverted to the old school formula. I missed it. I'm happy to have it back in rotation because there's something very special about this powder like very underrated and it's hard to put into words. It's just a really great straightforward loose powder. And once you have it on, nothing's gonna crease. Nothing under your eye creases. And I love a lot of good setting powders. Like there's, I have a ton of setting powders that I love, but it's nice to kind of like go back to the OG formulas that I once really loved and relied on because it kind of reminds you of like why you loved it in the first place so i'm just using a krylon powder puff krylon's like a professional makeup brand they're a little bit harder to like buy like purchase unless you're a professional makeup artist they can be a little bit more difficult to find their products unless it's online Okay, so what I've been liking this past week, I've been in a very big hurry this past week. I have been getting up at five every single day, getting to work really early um, every single day, and then doing like double days where I finish one shoot and I go on to an entirely different shoot. And um, I've just been like pulling every single which direction imaginable. So what I've been enjoying to save me time is skipping cream bronzer also because it's so hot it's so hot right now it's hot in my studio too because i can't have my ac on and film because it's really loud but it's so hot outside that i just find that the combination of the heat and being in a huge hurry doing my makeup every morning i'm just opting for a powder bronzer just to like warm up my skin just to like give it some color and dimension and it just stays put really well. It looks flawless throughout the day. There's no like slipping and sliding because I'm not like a huge primer person. So there's just no like, I don't know. It just stays put really well and it looks really smooth and flawless. So I've been really liking just the simplicity of popping a powder bronzer on my skin and not doing the cream bronzer first and then layering and setting it with a powder bronzer. So the one I've been loving, and this is for my bronzer haul too, it's the Laura Mercier matte radiance baked bronzer in bronze 03 so i just put it on with a bk beauty 104 just like you saw and i just warm up my skin i just try to give it some nice color i try to even out my my tan skin and uh to my very, very pale face i try to just like warm it up and it's just been working nice it's just been a nice easy way to do my makeup which i'm appreciating on the, the weeks that I'm swamped with professional work, like as a makeup artist, I just try to like cut down my routine as much as humanly possible because it's a lot, you know, it's a lot to do other people's makeup. That I love. That's why I enjoy. That's why my whole purpose in life is to do other people's makeup. But doing a great job and like trying to do this extravagant look on myself during those times, it just isn't it. I'm just, it's not gonna happen, so. I'm taking the same bronzer with a BK Beauty A503 and just adding some dimension to the inner part of my brow bone and then sweeping it alongside my nose. This is like my quick, easy, somewhat natural way of just adding some dimension to the center of my face and like naturally contouring my nose. I know I don't need to contour my nose, but I just feel like it really brings out my features when I do. Now for my eyes. One thing, and this is actually, let me show you since we're being really real. This is my makeup bag that I take with me in my car. And once I get to work and I've like parked and I'm situated and I have like a little bit of time, it's usually only like 15 minutes before I have to go into work like physically. So what I do is I go through this makeup bag that I pack like once a week 
and I do my makeup in the car. That's been like my routine. And a couple of the things that I love is this Make Eyeliner. And I guess I took this out for a tutorial. And I also love the Make Eye Shaping Stilo or Stylo. This is Horizon, so I'm gonna use this as my eyeshadow base and just sweep it all over my eyelid. It's like a nice neutral like flesh tone, basically. It's gonna cancel out any redness on my eyelid. And then I just blend it. And kind of press it onto my eyelid. This has really like been my, my Monday through Friday makeup look for work. So I'm trying to get a neon sign made for my studio. Specifically for like this video, I want to just say like Nikki Uncut, like just something cute, just to switch it up and um, differentiate the look of my videos. But I can't find, um, I can't seem to find a place. So if anyone knows of like a place that makes custom neon signs, let me know. I would love to find a place that um, is gonna do what I want to do. I'm gonna go back to my bronzer. Same brush I used to like shade my nose. And sweep this all across the crease. It just really opens up my eye. It's like a really soft, easy eyeshadow look. This is why it's my go-to. Like Monday through Friday when I'm working, I'm I always put my bronzer, whatever bronzer I'm wearing, but especially if I have a powder bronzer on me, which is usually always, this is gonna be my crease color. It just gives like your whole makeup look harmony. It's easy. You know, it's gonna go with the rest of your makeup, which is great. It's gonna look nice and cohesive. And it's just soft, you know, it's not too much. I'm not trying to be full glam when I'm going to do my client's makeup. I'm just trying to look nice and put together. So I'm gonna go back to my Make Eye Shaping Stilo and run a little bit on the bottom lash line. I'm just gonna repeat that process. This is kind of like a waxy texture, or it is a waxy texture, I should say. It's not kind of. So it helps to grip, going back to the bronzer, it helps to grip anything on the bottom. Well, it helps to grip anything you put on top is what I'm trying to say. So it's gonna to help to like just keep that powder bronzer in place all day. It gives it like a, you know, it's like a sticky grip for it. It's like a primer basically. So I always do my bronzer on my bottom lash line. This just helps to really make my eyes look bigger, which I like. And uh, ooh. Gives me like a complete eye makeup look without being too much, like too dramatic. So on Fridays, I usually treat myself to like a really delicious coffee. So I think I might go to Alfred and I might get like a lavender matcha. If, if you're not in LA, um, of course they have it all over now. I think they have Alfred in like Miami and I think they have them in, in Texas too, like Austin. I'd have to look it up, but Alfred Coffee and Tea is basically the place I'm talking about. But they have like the most incredible iced matcha that I get. And usually after a really long, hard week, <laughs> I like to treat myself with like, you know, just like I'm something modest, right? So like, I'll get like a large extra matcha, like double, you can do like two times the matcha, which I love. Cause it's like, gets you going really. It's like really a lot of caffeine. And so on Friday, you know, after a long, a long, long week of waking up early and just grinding at work. I like to just treat myself to something, you know? Whether it be online shopping. <laughs> um, or something a lot more affordable, like a, a $10 matcha from Alfred. So I get the lavender one and the lavender syrup that they have it turns the um, the drink, 
like there's a brush on the end of this. I'm gonna flip this out. It turns a drink blue. If you've had it and you know what I'm talking about, please leave me a comment because I, I wanna make sure I'm not alone with this. It's just the most decadent <laughs> matcha. It's so delicious and the color of it just, it feels like, it feels like you're just drinking dessert. And I get it with honey too. Like if I'm not doing the lavender, I'll do like a matcha with honey. It's so good. It's so good. So this eyeliner is like my ride or die during the week. I This is always in my makeup bag. I actually never take it out. And so on the weekends or like when I get a day off, I kind of do like a makeup bag on the go reset where I take everything out. I pick new products that I want to like test out for that week. And because for me, it's like all about testing products these days. Like that's all I do. I like to test products, give feedback. That way I can give you guys like my best um, feedback on products because there's so many out there. But this eyeliner just never leaves like my on the go makeup bag and never leaves this bag. It never, ever does. I think I actually have two in here. But I recently discovered how great the brush is on the other end. Whereas before I was never using this little like handy brush that it comes with. But in my hurry these days, I have really grown to utilize that and enjoy it for like my subtle wing. So speaking of treating yourself, I got a targeted ad for like on Instagram for coach and normally coach like the, it's like clothing and purses. If you don't know coach, I usually buy, I usually, um, always shop for my mother-in-law at Coach because she loves Coach purses and like their accessories. She loves their shoes, like all Coach, she loves it. So I always think of her and I get I get targeted ads because I, I shop there for like, you know, birthdays and the holidays and stuff for her specifically. But I got a targeted ad and it was this cute little like shoulder strap, like chain over the shoulder Oh, crossbody is what it's called. Crossbody bag. And it's like this big. It's super cute. It's like, yeah, like that bag. I'll have to show you at another point. Like maybe I'll show it in like a favorites video if I end up loving it. But it's made of Sherpa. Like um, like some kind of fake, like faux Sherpa. Like that fuzzy material. And it was on sale. It was half off. So I got a really, really good deal. But that was my treat myself moment this week like midweek, I got that ad at the perfect timing where I was like, I need um, something to boost my serotonin levels. So <laughs> this coach bag is gonna do it and it did. It came in the mail last night and I just opened it this morning and that bag is so cute. It's ridiculous. I have to, I have to post a picture of it so you can see what I'm talking about. It's just adorable. But anyway, really excited about that. It's the little things in life, you know? Okay, so just winging out my eyeliner and also coming to terms with the fact that my eyeliner today is going to be definitely going to be sisters and not twins and that's okay you know no one is perfect it's cute enough i'm gonna need a little time check Okay. About 15 minutes at the most before I need to head out to work. So I'm not gonna fuss with this eyeliner anymore. It's cute enough, you know? It'll definitely do. But the color, by the way, that I'm using is Nebula. It's like a really rich, dark brown. I love it. I absolutely love it. Now let me find my lash curler. This is my refer lash curler and it's the, um, they have two sizes on their website. It's like the original size. I think it's like the 20, 20 something, 22. It's going to curl that. This lash curler works so well. And no shocker here, <clears throat> but I have to try. I'm not try. I've been using this all week. 
so excuse me, I have to use this new mascara that I'm obsessed with. It's the Huda Beauty One Coat Wow. And it legit is one coat wow. Like the name is very gimmicky, but it's very deserving because it really is a wow mascara. Now this one doesn't run on me. It doesn't smudge. It doesn't flake. Um, even in the heat when I'm like outside and um, it's scorching. I haven't had an issue with it running, which is really amazing. But in the summertime in general, I, I think I've talked about this before, but I tend to skip my bottom lash line because it, there's just really no point if, unless you have like a waterproof formula on. If it's really, really hot outside and you are a face sweater, which I'm not really, I, I'll sweat above my lip at the most and like in my on my neck. But I just don't like to run the risk of having like smudgy, runny mascara on the bottom lashes because it just, it, you know, it's not uh, something I want to risk in the summertime. So I just usually skip the bottom lash line and just focus on my top lash lashes. And I actually love the look because it really gives my eyes like a, a big open eyed effect. Sometimes when you do bottom mascara, it can actually make your eyes look a teeny bit smaller. I don't know if you've ever noticed that. Amazing. Every time, every time I use this mascara, I'm like, I could just keep going and going. It's just so pretty. So let's move on to blush. I'm gonna use my Dior 001 Pink, but I'm also gonna put on Bloom from Persona Cosmetics. This has been like my combo. I love this combo so much. I love Bloom from Persona so much. So I'm going to apply it with an Angie Hot and Flashy A507. It's got the angle on it, which makes it really easy for blush combo or blush application. It's going to seem like a lot at first. I did go kind of heavy handed. I like to bring it pretty far up. So I almost look up when I'm doing this so I can get under my eye a little bit. And then just drag it across my nose for like that youthful touch of color, which I love. And a little sweep across the forehead, just a little one. You could probably see the dent on my forehead from my baseball cap that I wore when I was walking my dogs this morning. Now I'm gonna go back to my Laura Mercier powder. And what I like to do is powder this like connecting line. I say connecting because like this is what connects my cheek to my bottom, um, my under eye, basically. So before I go in with the dewer powder, I like to make sure this is nice and smooth so it doesn't skip or look patchy in that area when I put my powder on top. This just gives it like a nice flawless look. A little extra powder on my nose and a little bit around my mouth. Okay, now grabbing my Dior. What's wrong, guys? They're playing next to me right now. And I'm gonna apply just a little bit with the uh, old Zoeva 111 Petite Face Brush. Guys, can you not? They're trying to talk to me. So just a little bit of this. More so to like set bloom into place. I don't have the longest day ahead of me. I, I'm really just doing hair and makeup for my client who's filming today. And um, I don't have to stick around. So I'm, I'm basically doing a do and go. So I do the hair and makeup and then I go, <laughs> which is great. Cause I have a lot of work to do when I, when I get back home. I'm gonna go back to my Laura Mercier powder. This is my favorite thing in life to do for a makeup look. 
I used to always do this on my clients and I thought, why don't I do this on myself? So I started doing it on myself. I'm like, why didn't I do this on myself for years and years like I did with my clients? So now I, I can't live without this. I always do this. I just shade above my lip. Just gives my lips a little something, something prior to doing lip liner. Now for lip liner. The one I've been loving. It's also from Persona Cosmetics. It's in the shade Almond. I don't think I talk about Almond enough because it's like absolutely stunning. It's like a neutral pink. Oh, I haven't finished my brows. I got to get my brows on before I run out of time. And now work is texting me. Uh, hang on, while I pick out this lip color, let me just see what this producer is texting me. To confirm you're doing. Yes. Okay, now what I do is I go back to my powder puff and just kind of smush it on top. And for lip, coconut lip gloss from Tower 28 has been a new favorite. Just like a nice little soft lip gloss moment. I think I'm probably gonna put my hair back to go to work today because my hair is not having like a great hair day. I keep seeing it on the monitor and it just looks very frizzy and kind of lifeless. So put my hair back after this. But let's finish these brows because they've seen better days. So hold on. I go through my handy everyday makeup bag. I need this for my brows, my NYX Lift and Snatch. And I need, where's my Patrick Ta? I can't find my Patrick Ta brow pencil. Hmm, okay, I can't find my Patrick Ta. Where'd it go? You know, I love my Patrick Ta brow pencil so much, like more than anything. Maybe it fell out of my makeup bag in my car because it is not, not there. So we'll just do the lift and snatch from NYX. I already have a little bit of my e.l.f. brow wow in my brows. Actually, I have a lot of e.l.f. brow on my brows. I like my base. So I'm just gonna feather on some hair-like strokes. So after work, I have to finish shopping for uh, a video that I'm gonna film um, tomorrow, which will be Saturday for me for my YouTube channel and I'm really pumped about it. I'm gonna test out every single foundation, liquid foundation that is sold in drugstores. So I've been hitting up all the drugstores, making sure I'm not gonna miss any, you know, different formulations and stuff like that. But there's a couple that I still need because they were out of like any, um, any like rational shade options for me. And I wasn't just gonna buy like a pasty white one just to buy it and try it out. I, I wanna like not waste the money and actually buy a foundation I could potentially want to use on myself in the future. So I need to find, I'm on the hunt for two from, I think the L'Oreal, is it L'Oreal? I think it was L'Oreal. And then one from Rimmel London. And then my, my uh, shopping will be complete for this video. Okay, so brows are almost done. Brows are on. Two more things and then we're done. And then I gotta head out. But this was fun. See, I look like on the monitor, pretty good. Except for this hair, 
this little sideburn here that's driving me nuts. So I've been testing out this setting spray from Milk Makeup. It's the Pore Eclipse Mattifying Setting Spray. It says to shake well, so I'm gonna shake this really well. And I'm, I just can't tell if it's making a difference. Like I can't tell if it's keeping me more matte longer throughout the day. Um, but I figure, figure this is like the best time to try it because it's swelteringly hot outside. But the the jury is still kind of out. Like I'm still I'm still kind of figuring out if I want to recommend this or not. So I can't give like great feedback on it yet. So let me spray. I really douse myself in it. I like the mister though. The mist is like very fine when it comes out. It's not super aggressive, which you know I don't like. But that's it. That's my makeup look. This was Nikki Uncut, and I hope you enjoyed the whole process, including the airplanes, <laughs> uh, my dog's plane, me uh, flubbing my words and all those fun things. But yeah, I'm gonna go head to work. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Thanks for staying with me and keeping me company, doing something I had to do anyway, which is just get my face on to go out and do some work. But I'll see you all in the next video. I'm gonna hop up and cut the camera. And don't forget to watch my other videos if you have missed them on my channel. My nice, more polished, more edited videos are all up there on my channel. I'll make sure I include them right here. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a like if you enjoy just hanging out with me casually. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!